We haven't met. My name is Todd. I'm joined by David, who's been mentoring me on the Beyond Project and leading us. Tom leads our stewardship team, and Whitney is our designer. And we just want to give you guys an update because a few uh, weeks ago, we were in a stewardship team meeting, and Daphne Sprayberry said, hey, we should give an update more than once a year. And we're like, Daphne, you're brilliant. So here we are implementing that because authenticity is one of our core values. And so we just want to let you know where we're at and how we're stewarding what God has given us. I love that our public kids elementary in the room because you're not the future of the church, you are the church. So I love that you guys get to hear this. So Tom, lead us off. Absolutely, thanks Todd. So uh, like, like Todd said, we typically get up here in December, we talk about the budget, we talk about what's happened in the past and we just thought, let's try to do this a little more often so we can keep you informed of how we're doing and where we are. And um, so let's, uh, let's look at how we've done for the first five months of this year. Um, so at this point uh, through May, we're at 80% of our giving income and we're at 69% of our expense income. So 80% is better than 69%, right? Yes, that's good. Yeah. So um, those um, are, uh, you know, normally we closer to 100%, both of them, but we haven't had all of the building income and building expenses uh, yet this year that we had originally thought. So that's, uh, that's this year. Um, so for some context, how does that look compared to last year? So when we look at the first five months of this year versus the first five months of last year, um, you can see that the, the, the blue there for uh, this year, um, the income is higher than it was this point last year, and the expenses are about the same, just a little bit less. So that's also good news. So we're, we're tracking along really well and um, looking forward to seeing what God does in the rest of this year. Awesome. Yes. And I just want to thank our staff for keeping expenses low. It's awesome that that's at 69%. I mean, that, that's incredible to see that they're doing that. And now we're going to talk about the Beyond Project, which is the fact that we're building, and here is the vision, to create spaces where Jesus impacts people beyond the room. And if you're wondering why, I know you can look around and there's quite a few seats in here, but if you are upstairs, like it is packed almost every single week in public kids upstairs. Also, when they're in the Annex, the reality is it's a better stewardship decision to move on from the annex. That means demolish it um, and to have a new building than to try to nurse it along. And also, as even as summer comes and people travel and some of our family's gone, our numbers upstairs for the past three weeks of indoor gatherings, we've had 49, 48, and 42 more kids than we had last year. Is that not amazing? We praise Jesus for that. We're reaching families, and so we need space for them. So Whitney's going to tell us about the plan. Yes, yeah, so we've been working with um, an architecture company in Knoxville called Studio 4, and they have given us a proposed plan that we're really excited about. We've been working on it, so if you want to go ahead and pop that up. So here is um, the plan. So super excited. Um, if you see the green, or not, it's not green, uh, the gray in number 13. Thank you, David. He's got a pointer. <laughs> All right. Um, that is where you're sitting right now. That is our gathering space. We're looking to expand that a little bit to provide more seating, doing some renovations in this space. And then if you look at one and two numbers right there, they are proposing new lobbies for us. If you kind of been in our lobby um, at any given point during a gathering or moving through gatherings, you know it's kind of tight. So we're excited about this to have just be able to connect more, honestly, have overflow, um, be able to provide our community with other things throughout the week that they could use our space for. So we're excited for those um, spaces. And then the teal, or kind of the blue area, uh, that is going to be children's spaces. Our public kids are gonna be here in all in one location. Can we just clap for that? Yeah. Woo! Uh, so no more upstairs. We're hoping to be able to have all kids in that location. So this is just a run, really quick run, run through of the plan. If you wanna go to the next slide. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> All right, this is called an exterior rendering. Really excited just kind of what the future could look like for our space. As you can see, it kind of um, connects really well with our current space. So really excited about what God is doing and what we could look forward to. I love that. And David is going to let us know how we're getting there through pledges. All right. Well, last November, we asked people uh, to, to pledge giving toward the Beyond Project, and we have received pledges of $160,000. Yay, that's a good thing, you know? Um, 
Now, where we are right now, as far as those coming in, is that, let's see, let's slide, uh, 32% of that has come in so far. And we're at 42% of the year gone by. So if we were expecting every month to be the same, then we would say we're behind. Now, let's go to the next slide, though, and see what it actually looks like over time. And you can tell that we are, uh, we're on an uphill trend, right? Yeah. This is good. This is good. We're starting to catch up. Um, now, it may be true that at the beginning of the year, we were not really set up for you to allocate on PushPay what you were giving toward the pledge. And so we may have actually missed some things. If you think we did, then email us at beyond, beyond at publicchurch.com. And also, if you have not pledged and you would like to, then email us, email beyond at publicchurch.com. Now, I, why would you want to do that? Um, here's, the, here's the primary thing we're after. We want you to ask God about it. We want you to hear from him about what he wants you to do in this regard, and then exercise faith. Remember, faith is trusting God enough so that you act on it. And so if you hear from God, then that gives you an opportunity to commit to that and to follow through and then see him show up in making all of that possible. So if that's something that you do, it's probably going to be something you remember for the rest of your life that you heard from God and you saw him show up. That's what we'd like to invite you to do. I love that. And so that's a little glimpse of where we're going and, and a glimpse of how you can see your normal giving and then your pledge on top of your normal giving. Man, it is fueling the vision God has for us. And know this, that vision is about people. That vision is about life change. So if you're wondering, why would I give? Why would I pledge? There's going to be some pictures on the screen of the four baptisms we had last week in an outdoor gathering. I mean, look at these kids. Like, you're going to see three pictures of kids being baptized, an adult being baptized. I mean, this is incredible. Can we praise Jesus for life change? Mm. And so we're giving for more of that to make room for more people to be changed by Jesus and to have a generational impact on their families.